saw the accident and stopped it. So look at him looking right there at the money at the pillow. See what I'm saying? Because the Empress sits pretty. She's upright. But right now she's back. She's reversed because she's not nurturing this. See what I'm saying? So it's, it's tricky. But there's quite the connection here, quite the bond with the lovers. All right. So it looks like there's work to be done. So in all reality, the two of you would make money. But I don't know what's really driving him. Is it the love for the empress? Or is it the love for the money? Coming in as the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they got feelings. And they do want something long term. Let's see what this emperor is all about. Tell me about the emperor right now. And what's the emperor's agenda? What's the emperor's agenda? That they didn't think I'd ask that question. They're like, really, Court? <laughs> really? Yeah, why not? Why not? I just dished out someone's business. The Queen of Wands reversed. I guess to turn, I, I guess to get that passion back. Because now she's looking reverse too, right up at him. So like I said, this empress is not putting, she's very intuitive too, she's spiritual too. She's not putting any effort into him. And I, I think his agenda right now is to get that passion back because that passion is, is, is not there right now. See what I'm saying? Like she's not nurturing it. It's not moving forward, it's dead. It was already dead, so this is Mercury all day. All damn day. So his agenda is to kind of scoop her off her feet, come in and charm the little Empress's panties off. I don't think you're going to have that much luck charming off an Empress's panty, but depending on how deep Romeo can get, I don't know your agenda, but I, I don't know what yours is, all right? But you're going to get this message, and I'm telling you, like, with the four of wands here, you were dealing with somebody who did not want to be in a relationship, period. Maybe you have a family life. Maybe you have kids. The Empress owns kids and has a family life. And at the time, they weren't having it. it to me, they're saying, too, they weren't using their spirituality correctly. There's something here, too. They were probably too busy, busy partying or, or doing do-do-do, whatever. But you're going to get that message now. Um... Have a in the past. Yeah, see, that's the past. So this is all Mercury coming back around. Okay. Things coming back around. Mercury is all, it, it, I like Mercury sometimes. I'm going to do a video on it later, but I, I will tell you, you know, it's all about rejuvenation and renewing something and retrospect. And, you know, it can be a beautiful thing, but we'll talk about it after. It doesn't have to be a disaster, but it is, it is, you know, it's a time to renew too. So I don't know if it's right for you or not right for you, but I'm telling you right now, this emperor's agenda is to come in and bring that passion back. And they do got feelings of the Knight of Cups, okay? but they're apprehensive. They're nervous. They're nervous. They're kind of losing sleep over it. They know the bond's there, but that's sitting on top of confusion. You know, so it's like, will they invest time? Will they not? So it's like, do I fight for them? Will they invest time? You got a super overthinker. The emperor usually doesn't take action, but they considering coming in as the knight, it will take action. But I think it, I think he just wants to sit pretty next to the empress. So I don't know how deep this conversation is gonna get because you guys are about to get messaged or you're about to have a conversation, and I, you know. It's, it's murky, so it, it's, it can get pretty deep. I don't think his intentions are to come in right away and charm your little panties off. It's not like that. But their intention is to be charming, to get that passion back. Because this person knows that you're a passionate person. But that passion is no longer there. See what I'm saying? You're no longer nurturing it. You're taking care of yourself. You, you, that passion's not there like that. It might be, but it is, it's not being talked about. It's not an obvious to this person. Okay, so again, depends on your situation. So that's 
that's what their agenda is to get that that back. So you're kind of dealing with a little bit of a, a, a manipulator. But I don't see any ill intent. They do want to sit pretty next to you, though, in this card. So, like, ultimately, I, I don't know what the final agenda is. It looks to me, you know, they they still got something sour that has to do with the past. So I don't, you know, that they need to talk about because the Ace of Pent is reversed. So it's like they got to talk about the past. Something needs, you know, it's like clarification. You know, I don't know what you're going to do. It's completely up to you. But be prepared for this, okay? Be prepared for this. Um, you can have someone else or, or not now. I don't know. If you do, obviously you're going to have a decision to make. That's for sure. Be smart. I don't need to follow up with advice, guys, because this is tricky. And ultimately, you're going to have to figure this out yourself. Don't be asking friends or family. Like, really sit with this one and ask yourself, like, is this what I really want? You know, like, what's this person really been up to? Is there growth? Or does this person really just want to sit pretty next to the emperor? me if they're coming in as the king of pence guys there has been some growth so you're gonna have a lot to consider oh, do I have a lot of oh yeah advice guys advice path no matter what gender you are it's just an advice path for this read okay whether it's towards the feminine or the masculine I'm just gonna leave it at that because I feel like it's really up to you Right, so you got the six of earth at the bottom of the deck, you have an awakening. So it's kind of like a little bit of a tower moment. Like so so your soul's gonna tell you. Okay. It's just it's it here's the thing here. There might be a temporary standstill because you're like, what? But what they really want you to do to do is look at something in a different perspective, which is exactly what I just talked about. Like talk talk it through your head. You know, if you need help for an angel, ask our um Archangel Gabriel to kind of like hang out with you for a little while, okay? So we got the six of pence, you know, it's also a gift of money and time. It's also effort that will be needed, but you got a new career opportunity for some too, which is right here. Okay, that's that's that work, whatever that is. Um, but receiving a loan and paying off debt, this is a big money pad. So some type of gift, a universal gift. This is also just grounding a situation and balancing out your own thoughts to make the right decision, so you know where to put your time and effort, so you know what to do when it comes to the right career move. You know what I'm saying? What if this person comes in or say you take a new job and all of a sudden you're like, damn, where'd you come from? This person now works next to you. Like what? You know, it, it can be any possibility. But to me, it looks like a message. This person's coming in strong with you. This to me is, is work anyway. Tell me about the eight of pence. I, I don't want that address stuff to me. That was the bottom of the deck anyway. Something petty from the past. Like if that person can't let go of petty, Trust me, you know there's been no growth. King of Swords, there's that communication. And again, it's linked. That can be an authority figure. It could be linked to work. Okay, so. Be a judge. Man in uniform, you know what I'm saying? So it's like to me, this is, you're gonna have a conversation about why something ended and why they want to work together with you, why something wants to get balanced out, why the scales, why the situation needs to be grounded type energy. Tell me about the six of earth. Tell me about the six of earth. Knight of Wands. All right, this person's gonna rush in. It looks like they've done some soul searching, but regardless of the situation, it looks like they're gonna rush in and try to balance out the scales and, and ground the situation here. So Again, there's not, you know, your best advice is to, to ground yourself so you can ground the situation. Okay. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day, truth. Bye, guys. Love you.
ਦਾ ਗੁੱਸਾ